Today I will add to the journal a top view of the Rudbeckia flower and this fluffy bumblebee. I will start with the bumblebee drawing a line that defines its posture, then the large shapes of its body. The head, the thorax, I'm just drawing ovals. This is the thorax, but I also mark that color edge and then the abdomen it has like this bean shape you see I'm searching for the line with very light lines then when I'm happy with them I press the pencil so the head has this big compound eyes, maybe a bit big for this head or the head is too small. As you probably remember, the insects have, most insects have five eyes. And here are three, between antennas actually, there are three simple eyes that detect the changes in light intensity. And they have two compound eyes that are made of 150 lenses. And they detect the patterns on the flowers and they see polarized light and that enables, enables them to navigate the sun even in sh uh, days without cloudy days. So you have the antennas, two antennas. One is shorter because of the foreshortening. Then the thorax has three segments each carries a pair of legs and you also have uh, two pairs of wings so the first leg attached to the first segment Then the second leg, and the third. In the picture, you don't see the first segment of the leg, and it looks attached to the abdomen, but it is actually so it looks attached from here but the first segment is hiding on those hairs maybe it's too large And here we have one, two, three, four larger and a claw. Now oh, we're stretching this leg. Now we can add the wings. And the other one, 
it creates a V with this one. And this one like this. So I correct them if I think I haven't drawn them too well. And the lines that marks those stripes on the body. Now I will draw the two circles that delimit the unopen and open these florets. Um, then I will add spirals formed by the unopen florets. So I'm starting with a circle. I'm looking where it starts. It starts from this leg and finishes here. And try to draw a circle between those two. And it hides there. Then the other circle. So these are just the guiding lines, they don't have to look perfect. Circles are just there for uh, showing the limits of this. And we can add those spirals we see. This is shorter, this is going like that. And then they start to be And you do have this, you can also mark the place for the small flowers. So here, somewhere between and even distance it. So this is the pencil sketch and you can uh, redefine this. I mean, you can fade it and try to make them more precise with the pencil or just take the pen and redefine the contour with the pen. I'm looking at the way the hairs are arranged on this bubble bee. On the head and on the body, they are growing up.